special guest from Explore Charleston and Travel South here with us, Richard Arnold from Good Morning Britain. We are so glad to have you in the Holy City. You told me this was a, a little bit of a bucket list item for you. Tell us what you think so far. Oh, it's been absolutely incredible. I've been immersed in history from the moment that I stepped off the plane. And my first impression was waking up on Sunday morning and I was wandering around um, the, the French Quarter and, and, and listening to the hymns, the churches. And rather like I do today on this show, I'm feeling spectacularly underdressed. You know, when the Chalcedonians <laughs> come out in their Sunday best, it's really something to behold. And as you can tell from my voice, I've been doing a lot of talking. I've eaten a lot of oysters, mm -hmm. peeling a lot of shrimps. Um, I may even go back to Good Morning Britain with some broadcasting gravitas for the first time in 27 years because yep. my voice keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. <laughs> but we've had a wonderful time, as you said, you know, being hosted by Travel South USA and Explore Charleston. You know, I met the artist uh, Jonathan Green yesterday. We had a little high tea, very British, oh, at the Hotel Bennett. Um, I met a lovely woman called Malika who works at the International African American Museum, which was just mm -hmm. a, an amazing experience. But it's it just walking around Charleston, you are completely immersed in the history of this city and I've been peeling back her layers over the last week and she's revealed herself to be everything I imagined and more because before coming here as I say I've been lucky enough to interview a lot of famous people over the years I've traveled widely around uh, the USA but Charleston's been like something I've, I've never experienced before it's been a wow. real real privilege getting to know the characters you know it, it's been phenomenal well, we are so glad that you're here. We were joking that you're kind of used to this gray, rainy weather, but we promise it's going to get better right. over the weekend. Oh, yeah. So, you're, yeah. you're here through the weekend, mm -hmm. right? I uh, am indeed. Uh, I will I be getting ahead. my legs out? I think tomorrow <laughs> you're going to like what you see. Okay. 70s? Can will you, you live like with what that? you see when I get my legs out? I suppose that <laughs> remains to be seen. Maybe Charles is not ready for that. I'll, I'll, I'll come next to you a little bit. I'll hide behind the desk. Don't worry. Oh, no. It's going to be beautiful. So anything else on the bucket list for the rest of your trip? Well, I don't think you can have enough oysters, and I gather we're you approaching cannot. the end of the season. We can right. confirm that. Yes. Months yes. that end in R. That's the go-to. I heard mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So that's new to me. So <laughs> yes, indeed. I've got some culinary treats lined up. Uh, but as I say, I can't thank you enough for your warmth and hospitality because I know it's legendary. But if you could distill it, it would be worth more than oil. It's extraordinary. I love it. Well, I'm glad you mentioned the history. We don't have quite as much history as the UK does. We're a lot younger. <laughs> yes. But Charleston is rare in the US because of how many historic buildings we still have that are standing. Mm. And just, I mean, it really is a jewel of the Southeast. Well, you know, mm -hmm. when, when they say it's a walkable city, mm -hmm. and sometimes you think when you hear that, OK, there's maybe a block. Mm -hmm. But you can walk miles. Miles. Mm -hmm. and everything. It, it, it's like being, as I say, it's like an immersive experience. Mm -hmm. So as I say, it's been everything I imagined and more. It's so picturesque. My favorite walk is to go south abroad, Pineapple Fountain, then you can hit the pier, they can go to Rainbow Row, all the way to the Four Corners of Law. And so I need, I need to apologize to everyone who's at the residential end of uh, King Street because I've just been gawping at their houses, you know, standing oh, yeah. outside. So if it's been unsettling for them, I do apologize. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, I, I always got those my it. camera. Yes, it happens <laughs> yeah. a lot. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> I do. Well, thank you so much for being here. We hope when you go back to the UK, you have some good stories and maybe encourage people to come check us out. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think you might be making a cameo in Good Morning Britain on Monday, so brace yourselves. Oh. All right, we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for God being here. You, we appreciate you. it. All right, ready to break, but you're watching News to Midday.